Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to recover a deleted timeline on Google Maps. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you recover your deleted timeline on Google Maps? Well, recovering them can be kind of tricky because we need to access a few settings. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead and open up Google Maps. And in here, what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and click on our profile icon at the top right of our screen. Now from here, you want to click on manage your Google account. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to look for the option that says data and privacy. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit until we see an option here that allows us to download our data. So in this case, let's go ahead and scroll down a bit here and click on download your data. Now from here, you want to go to Chrome. And from here, what we need to do is we need to complete a few details here on Google Takeout. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to select our options. So first is if you want to uh, basically uh, click like access log activity here, you can go ahead and enable that. So in this case, you also have the option to uh, add alerts or if you want to uh, basically uh, use or see Android device configuration and services and a lot more. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to choose or we need to fill out some things here and you need to look for the option that says location history or timeline. Now you want to make sure that you enable this. So if this unchecked, you want to go ahead and click on it. And if you want to go further customize this, like for example, if you want to uh, adjust the uh, formatting for it, but I would suggest you just keep it, keep it as is. But once you're done, you can go and click on next step. Now from here, you need to choose where the, uh, the details or your details will be set. So you can go ahead and choose send down link via email, add to your drive, your Dropbox or OneDrive. So let's go and choose send download link via email. From here, click on the create export. Now, by the way, you could choose your file type here. So you could use either zip or TGZ. So in my case, I like using zip here and also the file size here. So you could choose 10 gigabyte here because sometimes information or your information can be really big. So in this case, you, you could go ahead and choose your file size here or the max file size so, so that you don't have like a lot of file size that, or files that you need to download and compile in order for you to see your data. So yeah, in this case, you have your frequency here if you want to uh, see it like only once or if you want to export it every two months for one year. So yeah, let's go and click on create export here to uh, do an export. So this might take a while, so you just need to wait for the export to complete. And once your export is complete, you can view it, view it in your email, and hopefully you should be able to see your timeline. Now, in this case, uh, also one more thing that you need to make sure here is before doing this, you have to ensure that you have your timeline enabled. Now, if you don't have timeline enabled on your account, just an example here, when you go to the top right here and going to search your timeline, and going to the top right here, which is the three dotted icon and going to location and privacy settings. So if you have your timeline here, so timeline is on, let's go choose our email. So if this, if you have this turned off, then unfortunately you won't be able to see your timeline. But then again, if you already have this time uh, turned on, you don't have to worry about it. You just need to wait for your data to be exported. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.